I would like to invite Mr. Ian Eyre, the Managing Director of Liverpool FC, to say a few words. I'd like to thank our friends from the Football Association of Malaysia and the fantastic Malaysian fans who gave us an amazing welcome even at 5 a.m. this morning. As many, as, you, as many of you know, this is Liverpool's first visit to Malaysia and it may, may have taken us many years to get here, but I'm certain that will be worth it. We've just arrived from a fantastic three-day visit to China, to Guangzhou, and an exciting 4-3 win. And I know from my own experiences of living and working here in Malaysia that we can expect a fantastic welcome and a fantastic time and find what is really truly Asia. But we already know that many of our fans have already purchased many tickets, so we're expecting a very big crowd at Bukit Jalil Stadium on Saturday night and a fantastic atmosphere as the Malaysian fans cheer on the Reds. I'm sure that everyone from the club will make it a night to remember for the fans and also that we can witness a fantastic atmosphere at the game. We look forward to meeting as many of you as possible over the next few days. And I'd like to thank our sponsors, Standard Chartered, Courts, Carlsberg and Adidas, and our promoter Pro Events for making this possible. Enjoy the game, Taramakasi and Jukalagi. Thank you very much, Mr. Irina. Managing Director of Liverpool FC. And our ladies and gentlemen would like to open the floor to questions, so we'll have the microphones on standby. So if you do have a question, uh, kindly raise up your hand and we'll forward the microphones to you. Is this <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's a question we get asked almost every year in every, every trip. Um, obviously, we have fans all over the world. It's a global football club with fans in every country. So each year, we only get a short period to go and play. Um, and what we try to do is we always try to pick a venue where not only can we come here to Malaysia and have our fans in Malaysia, but we'll also attract fans from around the region. That's the same in China, in Guangzhou, where our fans from Hong Kong and other parts of China are able to come. So it's taken us a long time, but hopefully we'll be back here again soon as well. Uh, this is a good training exercise for ourselves. We, uh, everybody that came with us on the trip, all the players got a game. Mostly 45 minutes, the only people that did the 45 minutes were two goalkeepers who got a half of a half. So it's a continuation of the pre-season training for us and it's very important that all the players get uh, time to play on the pitch. So we were delighted with the way it went. Uh, the pre-season training is, is about getting the self fit but also you're expecting the players to make mistakes because they've been on for a few weeks. And we didn't make a few mistakes, but we can go along with that as long as the effort and determination is there. And they certainly worked very hard last night. So we don't like losing matches. Uh, we like to come along and win. Uh, but at the same time, we realise that there may be a time when we're going to lose matches when we're preparing for the season. The most important thing for us coming up will be August the 13th when we play Sunday in the first game at home. Yeah, we've got permission to speak to him. So obviously we do that if we can agree to end on a medical. Uh, so I'm sure it's a uh, in progress, but hopefully it's going to be successful. Um, as I said before, uh, you know, every year we try to go somewhere. Um, 2013, we'll come back to Asia for sure. Um, Let's hope we can try to include Indonesia in that process. Yeah, the two EPL clubs which has a lot of impact, maybe four. The one definitely, if I would like to mention, I think Kenny doesn't like, it's IU. And then Liverpool have a lot of fan base here. I think it is a lot of impact uh, for the Malaysian. And uh, it's good that they have come, you know, the first time they have come here to play. And, uh, it will be really good for the, for my own players, and also for the all the fans in, in Malaysia who have been waiting so long to see Liverpool come and play. Take me a long time. 
What you see is on the pitch. Um, the atmosphere has changed, obviously, in many ways, but I think we're going forward, and, and that's the positive thing. I think it's, it's going to take more time to do And have you had problems with, uh, with injury this time? I wonder, I wonder how you're feeling for the, for the coming season. I've many problems, but I'm looking forward now. I want to play some football, and that's going to be this year. So I'm doing everything I can in training, and hopefully I get some games. <coughs> Another uh, difficult question, but obviously we want to do better than last season. Uh, I think we did a lot of Lewis Wilder and Andy Carroll. We already did a good job. We should see if we have some other guys with you. More new players, uh, so hopefully we can push forward. It will be obviously very difficult to win the Premier League, but uh, we want to progress. We definitely want to be back in the Champions League, so now we are aiming to do, to do the best and to win as many games as possible. As I said, it's, it's very difficult. Uh, it's not only the Chelsea and the, the main United, but also I think uh, the last couple of years, uh, the Spurs have done very well, but Arsenal and City is, is getting there, so you know, hopefully we can enjoy them. Obviously, we'd much rather be in the Champions League. Every team that takes any pride in itself and any group of players that takes any pride in themselves wants to play the highest level. And the Champions League is the highest level for European players to play in. Uh, we're not there, but thanks to first year for many years that we haven't been in Europe. That might be an advantage. I think it was a few less games to play, it might give us more chance to rest players between league matches. But our determination this year is the same as it's been every year. We want to do the very best we can for the football club and for ourselves. And the more games we want, the more successful we'll be. And all we can promise that, that everybody that plays will give everything they have for the football club. If we get results, we'll be successful. If we don't, we won't be successful, obviously. All we can do is try our best. This yeah, Saturday. you could say that uh, technically and physically Arsenal is Arsenal, you know, because of the short passing game. They were quick, uh, quick at uh, decision making. We did break at times, but you know, the final third, the decision making was slow. And uh, that was the learning curve. And uh, the positive side of it is playing with a great team like that, we could also make some good attacks. But we do, did not have the quality like what Arsenal or maybe Liverpool has, you know. So that was the difference between the game. And I think my players would have picked up this, which I emphasize always when we play with the big clubs. I mean, not just last night, you like to play it wide with the wingers. Are you going to use the same strategy this weekend? It, it, it depends, it depends. It depends uh, what kind of strategy, what kind of players I have now, because I have about two to three injuries. Right. And uh, yeah, that was been our strength. And uh, I'm thinking of the game against uh, Singapore. At, at the same time, I would like to take this opportunity to play with a good club like uh, Liverpool. <laughs> As I said before, we all try our best. Uh, it's a great honour to revive managing the football club. Uh, so for me, it's more an honour than a burden. At the same time, you know, the expectations are there. But we also have to manage those expectations. And the, the supporters have to manage their expectations. And I think all they ever do, or all they ever have expected, is for us to be totally committed to the football club. And we can guarantee that we're going to do that. And we just hope that we can make results alongside it. Okay. I think that will be uh, the end of our press conference this afternoon. We'd like to thank all of you for your attention.